not him, Faith. Please leave me, Mommy. Please. That's not our son. Oh, God. I don't want to be alone. Faith? Come on. <laughs> Faith? I'm like 100% sure we passed this road already. Are you sure you're not lost? Oh, I know where I'm going. Feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. That's because we are in the middle of nowhere, Haley. Even if we were in the middle of nowhere, which we're not, by the way, we're in it together, and that's what counts. Wow, Dad. Well, I for one like the sentiment. It's a big move, but we are in it together. Well, yeah, just us and Shay. Hey, your Aunt Shay needs us right now. You never know, you might like living with her. Yeah, reformed addicts are the best. Haley. Listen, I know this is hard, but it's not forever. When the time is right, we'll get our own place, I promise. Great. No service. <laughs> I am in hell. Ah, give you some perspective. Really? Because from my perspective, I see trees. Oh, 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 look! Another tree. <laughs> Look, another tree. Oh, wow. <laughs> Toddy Bear! Yeah. Oh, I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. You look great. Thanks, so do you. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you. Hi, Jeff. Hi. You Hi. made it. I'm so happy. Hi, Haley. How's it going? You wearing your dad's clothes now? That's awesome. Welcome to the not so big city, guys. Also known as the smallest town ever. Yeah, we're quite far, far away from pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. uh, at night, you're going to love it. Super zen underneath the stars with the crickets. I hate crickets. <laughs> Who hates crickets? I do. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. I want to show you inside the house. How many times do you think she'll say Zen? We don't start. Zen bar. Oh, I'm Remember, Zen. Oh, wow. Home sweet home, ladies. It's really old. It's called Victorian. It's got nice cross bruises. <laughs> Let me show you upstairs. Mm. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, be really careful with the railing. It's super delicate, and I broke one of them by accident already. <laughs> um, OK, so each bedroom is like painted totally different, like different kind of wallpaper, different colors. It's really cool. This is my room. It's a mess, shocker. And then, Haley, that's your room. Oh, wow. Flowers. Awesome. Well, this is your room now, so pick a color and we'll paint it. Surrounding yourself with flowers is actually really good for your chi. You should consider keeping it. And this is the master bedroom. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna check out the backyard. See the sport. You did good. <laughs> this house is just amazing. Yeah, this is perfect for us, sis. Good job. I knew you guys would like it. I'll leave you to it. I just hope her and Haley can get along. I can definitely send something brewing there. No, no, they're gonna get along fine. You know, the problem is they're so much alike. They're both rebels without a cause. 
Okay, I think for Haley, it's called being a teenager. But for Shay, I don't know what that is. You know, Shay's been through a lot with mom's death, but I think having family nearby is going to be really good for her. I agree. And with this new job, we can finally get back on track, which I'm very grateful for. Me too. Todd, not now. What? <laughs> it's okay, Lily's outside. <laughs> Your sister is downstairs. She does not care. Well, it's weird. No, it's <laughs> Todd, no, I'm not in the mood. You're never in the mood, Jess. I'm sorry. It was a long drive. I'm gonna go unpack. Hey, so how did you find this place? Just responded to an ad. The neighborhood looked really nice, and the house was really cheap considering the size of the place, so I jumped on it. I'm so surprised that it was even available. This house is fantastic. A uh, real estate agent said something about the local economy being down. People aren't moving. Makes sense. Well, they're a loss. I think this place is fantastic, and I absolutely love the furniture. Mm. When I saw those Baroque couches, I was like, where do I sign? Baroque. Did the uh, family before here leave their broke couch? <laughs> I guess so. Nothing really matches. It's called character. Hey, do I have to go to school right away? Hey, yes, you have to go to school right away. Is there a specific reason why you don't want to? Come on, Dad, think about it. Semester's almost over. I can start next semester. I'll work extra hard, and then it'll be a nice break. Please? Please? Seriously? You guys are way too easy on her. Seriously, Shay? You don't really have a say here. Excuse me, Haley. You do not get to talk to your aunt that way. I'm sorry, I'm not the crazy drunk in the family. Haley. Wow. No, I'm not gonna be the one that's passed out in the front yard. Now Haley. you're just being a little proud. You don't get to act like you're such a good person just because you're finally sober. Or are you? Great. This house sucks. Nice shot, sport. What's going on with you? What do you mean? I mean, you were very rude to your Aunt Shay last night. It's not like you. Yeah, well, she's a hypocrite, and I hate that. How is she a hypocrite? She tries to tell everyone else how to live their life, and she can't even get her own life right. I get that, but you have to understand, your Aunt Shay, she's been through a lot. We need to be patient with her, help her. Isn't she supposed to be able to help herself? Isn't that what rehab's for? Sweetheart, can you do me a favor? What? Can you be the bigger person here so we can all get along? You mean a lot to me. Okay. Uh, that's the Haley I know. I gotta go to work. Bye, Dad. Be good, right? Scout's on her.
Let's go find some more trees. bike. It's a Yamaha 125. Yeah? You, uh, you ride? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm just an admirer. I'm sorry, who are you exactly? I'm Haley. Who told you about this place? Nobody, I just heard the music. So you took that as an invitation? Uh, do you like Higher Flex? Yeah, uh, I actually saw them in concert. I'm so jealous. What are you doing here? I, I just moved here. Amityville. We're in Amityville. Yeah. On Amity? Right where it dead ends? <laughs> uh, so, where do you see them? See who? Hi Higher Flex. Oh, um, LA. Oh, that's cool. Is that where you're from, or...? No, I, uh, I moved here from San Francisco. Oh, okay. Well, uh, welcome. Yeah, I'm... I think I'm gonna go. Probably for the best. Nice to meet you. Yeah, okay. I... I guess I'll just see you around. See you around. <laughs> Miss McAllister. Please. It's Delilah. Delilah. Oh, I, I guess you came for the rest of the rent check. Sorry, I've been uh, painting all day. I'm really spaced out. An artist. <laughs> it's more of a hobby, really. Sorry, I planned on dropping this off to you later today. Hi. Oh. You must be Jessica. Jessica, this is Delilah. She's the property manager on the house. Oh, wow, hi. Oh, just stopping by to see how you're doing. We love the place. Yeah. How's the garden? Oh, you know, I've actually never had one before, but the moment we moved in, I had this sudden urge to just start planting roses. To... Yes, exactly. I saw them outside. They're gorgeous. Thank you. Your husband and your daughter, where are they? I'd love to meet them. Todd is at work, and Haley, I don't know, she's probably out exploring or something. Hmm. Pity. Do take care of the house. We will. Between you and I, it's my favorite property. Oh, and uh, don't let the neighbors bother you. Why? Did they throw a lot of crazy parties? Uh, no, they keep to themselves. You're just not going to make any friends. Oh, wow. That's all right. Well, we have plenty of drama in this family. <laughs> uh, remember, it's a small town. People like gossip. Oh, don't you worry. What happens behind these walls stays behind these walls. Sure it will. <laughs> hey. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, Todd Jacobson. I'm here to see Mike. Oh yeah, we've been expecting you. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm Karen. Nice Hi, to Karen. meet you. Mike. Mike. I got Todd here for you. What's up, Mike? Hey, Todd. Mike Barcos. Nice to finally meet you, man. Glad to have you on board. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, this is beautiful. What year is it? 1955, Imperial. Fixing up for a friend of mine. She's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, she's great. 
How's everything else going? Good, man. Happy you're here. Now I can pay full attention to the other shop. Nice. Now, come on, let me show you around. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, well, wow. who's your new friend? I found her while I was planting roses. Well, she is extremely creepy. She's not creepy. No, she's, she's creepy. She's just old and dirty. And just like you. <laughs> you know what? I bet some little girl loved her very, very, very much. No, oh, no, this isn't good. The problem with these old houses is they have a big issue with their uh, plumbing. I'm gonna go check the basement for some drain cleaning. Have fun with your new friend. <laughs> hey, Dad? Down here. <laughs> this isn't ominous or anything. <laughs> All basements are ominous, honey. That's why they're underneath the house and not in the living room. There's so much junk down here. Who leaves as much stuff when they move? I don't know, but it's basically all cleaning supplies. creepy about this house. Come on. Let's go. Why is it that color? This is industrial strength. It's really potent. Actually, stand back a bit, babe. If this gets on your skin, it'll burn you. Oh my god! Why does it smell like that? Mm. How plumbing works, Jess, it's impossible. I couldn't get out. What are you talking about? I couldn't get out. Don't touch me! Get out! I told you, it can't be connected. The drain cleaner, it's impossible. What else was it? Huh? I don't know. Maybe Haley was right. Maybe she took something. Excuse me? Took something? Uh, yeah, like, like oh, like, great. Like, some acid or peyote. I great, we're something. living with a junkie. You said she was past all that, Todd. I'm not living with a junkie, Jess. I will keep an eye on her. It's not a problem. Listen, I get it. She's your sister. But I have to make sure that you are not prioritizing your sister over our daughter. Jess, I would never do that. Really? Because you're doing it now. What does that mean? 
You gotta face it, your sister's a drug addict. Our mother just died. She had one freak out episode, Jessica. Have a little compassion. Yeah, but you know what? The way you handled that episode seems like you've done How that I handled it? I did everything I could. What are you talking about? You seem pretty natural with it. No. Is this something that you guys grew up with? Did you do this when you guys were kids? What's going on? We don't know that she's on drugs. She, had she was one, on something. I know as much as you. I don't know. Situation like this. Put her daughter in the seat. I didn't put her in that situation. We found her in that situation. How's she doing? She's calmed down. Yeah, I checked her skin. She's fine. Well, that's a relief. Look, Jess, I'm, I'm sorry. Come here, come here. No. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It's just, you know, with all this I know, I know, I know. It's, and this is not the first episode that Shay's had. But why does it even happen? Honestly, I don't know. It could be stress, trauma. You know, mom's death was a lot for Shay. Morning, sunshine. Hi. Have I told you how proud I am of you? Why? Why? Because you're brave. You're going to a new school, and that totally sucks, but you're doing it, and I'm proud of you. At this point, I'll take any reason to get out of this house. Well, whatever motivates you. Doesn't mean I want to go to school. Look, you don't have to want to go. You just have to do it. And you are. So I'm proud of you. Fine. I accept your pride. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure where I was going to put it today. I'll see you later. Bye. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Haley, I, I made breakfast. Your ball? Yeah. What's your name? Penny. I'm Haley. I like your bike. I don't get to ride bikes. Yeah? You, you want to check it out? I can't cross the line. What line? Oh. Did you meet Rachel? Rachel? My friend. She lives in your house. Oh, did she move? No. Well, just my family now. Rachel's there too. I haven't seen her. Doesn't mean she's not there. Yourself? You know, uh, you didn't have to disappear before. You could have hung out. <laughs> yeah, well, your friends weren't exactly inviting. Uh, I don't know if I'd exactly call them my friends. Okay. Well, let me make it up to you. What are you doing after school? I, I work. My dad owns a tavern in town. I help him out. And after work? It's a bar. I get out kind of late. Okay. Then I guess I'll just see you around. Has anyone seen Mia today? I think she has her period, Miss Taylor. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa, for the update, but I don't think we need to know Mia's personal business. I just didn't want to be vague, Miss Taylor. Moving on. Let's start where we left off yesterday. Exercise seven. Did you hear? Mia f***ed Tim Bradley in the back of his car and he filmed the whole thing and it went viral. Now she's never leaving her room. I heard Mia went to the Amity house on a dare, but that was weeks ago and no one's seen her since. <laughs> That's a lie, Sally, and you know it. What are you guys talking about? Nothing new, girl. Mind your own business. Yeah, mind your business, dirt bike. <laughs> That's not an insult. Whatever, Failey. 
Bailey, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Girls, what's going on over here? I tried to tell her to be careful, Miss Taylor, but she wouldn't listen. All right, we'll get cleaned up. <laughs> she won't last long. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, what happened to you? Wet t-shirt contest, roommate? You, you missed it? <laughs> Apparently. I didn't get the memo. Bummer. Uh, um, here. It'll okay. be like it never happened. Hello. Hello. Hey, Shay. Shay, I'm out in the garden, so if the phone rings, could you answer it? How's it going over there? Hey, Mike. Ah, it's going. Yeah? I'm busy. You okay? You seem a little bit out of it. Long night. Actually, let me, um, let me ask you something. Have you ever heard of drain cleaner backing up and coming out of another faucet? No. Sounds crazy, right? Technically impossible. That's what I said. Why? Um... My sister Shay was taking a bath last night and had this freak out episode. And now my wife is convinced that the drain cleaner I poured into our sink somehow came up into her tub. Wait, Shay Jacobson? Yeah. That's your sister? Yeah. Wow. I used to date Shay back in college for about two years. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're that Mike. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you must be a uh, toddy bear? Toddy bear, yeah. Man, I haven't heard from Shay in years. How did you guys end up over here? Well, she was up here for a while, actually, uh, taking care of our mom. And then she passed, and at the time it made sense for my family and her to all move in together. And she actually found a great house in the neighborhood. Where? Amity Way, at the end of the cul-de-sac. So how did you guys come across that place? Um, she answered an ad. She's doing all right? Yeah, no, she's, she's fine. She's a tough groupie, so she'll bounce back. Look. I gotta go. I might drop by later on to say hi to Shay. Okay, yeah, sounds good, man. Hey, I did the inventory and loaded the beers. Can I go meet the guys? Storage unit locked up. Hey, Dad, if you need me to say. No, it's all right. I got Jones coming in at 8. Go on. Get out of here. Yeah? I'll be back later. Not much later. Be home by 10. No excuses. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. I was just going to return your jacket. Right. Thank you. Um, how did you know I was here? Uh, you said you worked at your dad's bar. There's only two in town, and one of them's a strip club, so he used my instincts. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I was, I was just about to get out of here, so. You want a ride? Um, why not? 
Well, come on. That was awesome. Oh, man. <sighs> so, uh, you gonna tell me why you feel the need to carry that thing around? Play crossbow? Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty safe neighborhood, so. You can never be too careful. It's a historical fact that small towns are a breeding ground for serial killers. Wow. Uh, who said that again? History? Right, of course. You ever heard of a gun? Too predictable. <laughs> you wanna try? Uh no, I'm I'm good. You uh you ever actually shoot anybody with that thing? Or? No. But I wouldn't mind putting an arrow through my Aunt Shay's ass. Okay. So you don't like her, obviously. Nope. Now I have to live with her. That sucks. Yeah. She's gone absolutely crazy. She was in the bathtub last night. She started screaming, crying, the whole nine yards. She thought her skin was burning off. Burning off? Yeah, like, like acid burning her skin off. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. Anyway. She went crazy and it made my parents fight. And so they got into this huge argument and it was, seriously, what? Uh, <clears throat> I shouldn't say anything. Okay. Like something bad happened in that house. What happened? A while back, this kid, Jimmy Oberest, he, uh, he poured acid in the bathtub and drowned his baby sister and then he, killed his parents. Shit. Yeah, it was, it was a long time ago. I mean, nobody even really talks about it anymore. It's totally creepy. You'll be taking a bath anytime soon. I'm, I'm sorry, I oh. shouldn't have said no, anything. No, no, I'm glad you did. It's nice to just have someone to talk to. Um, we should, uh, should probably get going. Hello? Hello? Shay? Shay? Shay, it's me, Mike. Open up, we need to talk. Shay? Shay, open up, it's me. Kitchen. Uh, Lala. Uh, Mike! You have to talk. Uh, don't stop. The people you moved into Amity House. Uh, Shay is a good friend of mine. Shay, I love her. She's an artist. Look, you have to get them out of there. Please stop. Just stop. Don't tell you how to run your business. Don't tell me how to run mine. It's not right. You know it. Well, the house can't be empty. As long as tenants pay, I don't care who they are. You're a sick bitch. I love it when you talk dirty to me. 
Hey, Mike. It's like Vegas, baby. Never bet against the house. Shay? Shay? Uh, Jess is making dinner. I just... Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. What do you want? I don't want anything. Jess is making dinner. I was just wondering if you wanted some. I'm not hungry. Okay. Are you feeling all right? Do I look all right? I... You look tired. Well, I feel perfect. Want to see what I'm working on? No, no, I'll, um, I'll wait till it's finished. I'm sorry. If I, you're um... sorry, then you know how late you are. Get inside now. What are you doing? Your door is open, so I put that down. Do you like it? Yeah. I mean, the colors are amazing. I think you got a keeper. You know what I think? I think you're just a puppet that says whatever daddy wants her to say because she doesn't have a personality of her own. I think you act tough and cool so you can hide who you really are. Forgettable, unlovable. Why would you say that? Because the truth is important. I wish you would have died instead of your brother. He only pretends to love you. Think about how happy your father would be if he had a son.
Ellie. Haley, are you okay? Have you seen Todd? Todd! A cigarette, Bailey? No. You gonna tell on us? Why would I stop you from slowly killing yourselves? Nobody knows when they're gonna die, Bailey. I treasure this moment if I were you. Yeah, tomorrow could be your last. Maybe not. I saw the way you looked at my boyfriend, BT Dubs. Sorry, who's your boyfriend? Oh, I think you know. Watch your back, Bailey, or you'll find a knife in it. Ladies. Haley, what are you doing? She slipped and fell. Classic Haley. <laughs> Haley? Yeah. Fine. He lived in my house. I know it because my Aunt Shay found his medical kit in her closet. And in the picture, his daughter's holding the same doll that my mom found buried in the garden. Okay. So he lived there. So what? So there's no record of him since 2004. He doesn't exist, Brett. He's dead. He died in my house. His family died in my house. I know it. I can't prove it, but I've seen it. And then there's this music box, and it, it plays at really weird times. Like it knows.
Do I sound crazy? No. I don't think so. I can't think about this right now. Yeah, that's... It's fine. We'll just chill. I haven't seen you around here before. What's your name? Todd. Todd. You must not live around here. Just driving through? No, I, I live here. Hmm. Lucky for me. <laughs> I'm married. Didn't ask. What about you? Your first concert. <laughs> uh... I have never been to a concert. No way. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. Not a lot of bands come through Amityville, so. <laughs> right. Oh. We should run away. Escape to civilization sometime. <laughs> Go see a concert. I actually want to manage my own band someday. Mm. Wow. You know more about what you want to do than I do. My dad gets a lot of credit for that. <laughs> Taught me everything I know. How to be curious, ride a bike, shoot arrows, play guitar. You, you play guitar, too? You play guitar? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, we should jam. Yeah, if I can remember how to play. My, my mom was teaching me uh, before she died. I didn't know your mom was dead. It, Sorry. Yeah, it, um, it happened when I was 13. I'm just glad that I got the chance to know her. You know? Yeah. I, uh, I actually had a little brother. But he died when I was really little. He was just a baby. I didn't know him at all. You know, it's funny. Um, a lot of the time when I, when people find out that I lost my mom, they try to be sympathetic. Um, but I know that for the most part, they, they don't really get it. And, um, it's just nice to, to meet somebody who does. Let's go. Where? I think I might know somebody who can help us. Hi, Brett. I was expecting you. Wow. This is your room? It's cool, right? Those are my solar crystals. These ones absorb positive energy. Those deflect evil. Deflects evil. Yeah, keep out the bad energy. What about that one around your neck? You told me it was really powerful. Yeah, it's an ancient protection crystal. It's been passed down for several generations in my family. Can't part with it. Well, do you have anything like that for Haley? She just moved to a new place in Amityville and her aunt is uh, kinda nuts. Yeah. I have lots of stones for new houses. Haley, go into the bathroom and grab the floral bag in the third drawer. Okay. It's the second door on the right. What are you doing? What do you mean? I, uh... That's the new girl that just moved to the Amity house. Yeah? How did you... Word travels fast. Not to mention Teresa's not a fan of hers. Come on, Jenny. 
She really needs your help. Of course she needs my help. Everyone needs my help. But I can't get involved in this. You have to go. Hey, uh, Jenny? Um, this is it? Exactly. This is a bloodstone. It's known for its protective qualities. I think I'm gonna need something a little bigger. It was nice to meet you, Haley. Thanks for coming over. See you later, Brett. Hey, baby. Why don't you answer your phone? Hmm. I was here the whole time, sweetheart. I killed Mike today. What? I killed Mike. What happened? so quick and I, I saw the look in his eyes right before he, before he died. wanted to live. Nothing wants to live here. Hey. If I get involved with this and people find out, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, I know. And there's no guarantee it's gonna change the outcome. Nobody, I mean nobody can know. I get it. Look, Haley is a good person. She doesn't deserve this. I have an idea. Um, 
It's the living room. Kitchen's down back through there. And your bedroom? It's upstairs. This is it? So, you gonna rid the house of evil spirits or something? Can't get rid of the evil, it's too powerful. The best thing I can do is create a safe place. A safe place? Somewhere you can go if things get bad. What do you mean by bad? I mean bad. What about my parents? You can bring them with you. This can be their safe place too. I'm gonna put these around the room. Whatever you do, <coughs> don't move them. <coughs> can I get some water? Yeah, yeah, of course, I'll, I'll grab this one. How's it going? The spell's complete. I think you'll be okay. It's like someone tried to help Bailey bite off more than she can chew. <laughs> Uh, hi. I'm looking for David Cranston. Speaking. Awesome. Um, I was actually calling about your brother. Willis Cranston? Who is this? I actually moved into the house I think your brother used to live in. I found some of his surgical supplies and I wanted to return them to him. Well, that's very kind of you. But we haven't heard from Willis for over a decade now. W would you mind if I asked what happened? I wish I knew. Once he moved we never heard from him again. I contacted the police who said that the property manager said that they'd handed in their notice and moved on. To be honest, it was very strange. He would never have just have left without telling me. It doesn't make any sense. Um, who was the property manager at the time? Um, 
McAllister. Delilah McAllister. Things illegal. Put the files down. I will cut out your heart and eat it. window. I don't know, Jess. I don't... And her neighbors just stood around like nothing happened? Haley? Dad? Dad, I just went to Delilah McAllister's house and I found all of this information about past renters. There's been hundreds. Dad, hundreds. Okay, Haley, slow down. What are you talking about? Since the 70s, people have been moving in and out of our house. They, they never stay longer than three months. I'm willing to bet they're all missing. Okay, Haley, this is crazy. Why don't you just come Dad, home you and- You need to get Mom and Shay and you need to get out of the house. Okay, I'm at the police station. Haley. Haley? I lost her. Dad? Dad? I just, I don't think that we should be here anymore, Todd. I'm serious. We're gonna wait for Haley to come home. We will leave first thing in the morning. I'm gonna go talk to Shay, okay? I'm gonna start packing. Hey. Brett? Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, I, I heard about Jenny. Look, I am so sorry. Brett, I... I think I know what's happening with my 
house. Haley, hold no, no, on. Delilah is moving people in there and killing them. It's not Delilah. I mean, it is, kind of. Do you remember what I told you about Jimmy Oberest? Yeah, he drowned his sister in a bathtub with acid and killed his family. Haley, Jimmy and his entire family were, they were into black magic. They believed that if they made these human sacrifices that they'd be granted eternal life. They killed people. Lots of people. Whatever they did, it was like they opened a portal to hell or something. What's Delilah's connection? Delilah was Jimmy's baby sister. What? Not the one he drowned, but she had pneumonia. She was in the hospital during the time of the murders. Oh my god. I'm at the police station, and they're putting Jenny's body in a trunk. Look, there's so much more. I need to tell you in person. Look, I gotta go. I'll meet you at the cabin in an hour, okay? Bravo. I see you find your family's new home. Do you like it? Super cozy. Why are you doing this to me? I'm doing you a favor. You are marked for death anyway. And trust me, this death is better than the alternative. How was I marked for death? Nobody who lives in the Amity house comes out alive. And if we don't feed the house and keep the spirits happy, it comes for us. No one with a choice wants that. Right, girls? Sorry, Teresa. But your possessed house is about to get real hungry. <laughs> Holy shit, T! You know how she fell about her face? <laughs> you know, Haley, you and I could have been friends. We have a lot in common. No. Teresa, we have absolutely nothing in common. I disagree! We both love Brett, didn't we? Why'd you have to go and steal my boyfriend, Haley? You have to ruin everything, you selfish bitch! Brett was never your boyfriend. Yeah! 
Well, now he'll never be yours! <gasps> <laughs>
vacant and available immediately. Oh, thank you so much for showing us your house, Delilah. We're looking for a nice home to raise our family in. Oh, I'm gonna have a brother or sister. That's right. <laughs> We're trying for another. Well, that's wonderful because we have three bedrooms. Oh. It's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah. I think we'll take it. Oh, 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 oh,